Hello there, I am Mrs. Rowena Olafurnes, your physics teacher. Today, I'll be giving you a brief tutorial about scientific notation. Let's begin. Let's look at the format of a scientific notation. This is what you call as the sign, the coefficients, and at the right side of your decimal place or point is the mantisa. This is the base, which is always written as 10, and this is the exponent at the uppercase of your base. Now, let's proceed to some examples. Example number one. This is a small number, 0 0.0000021. How do we change this to scientific notation? First is, we need to locate a new decimal point. Where should we place the new decimal point? We need to consider that at the left side of your decimal point, there must only be one non-zero digit. And where is that? Here. That's the place. Why? Because at this point, you only have one non-zero digit and that is number two. Do you understand? Good. Next is, from the original number, you will count the number of decimal places or from the new decimal point to the original decimal point, you're going to count the number of decimal places. Let's count together. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. There are six decimal places. That will now be the exponent of your scientific notation. The direction is to the good, that's to the left side from your new decimal point. That means your exponent will be negative. Another way of reminding yourself about the sign is if the original number is a small number, then its exponent is negative. Otherwise, it will be positive. Okay, so the answer now is 2.1 times 10 to the power of negative 6. 2.1 is from here times the base, which is 10. Exponent is negative 6 because the number of decimal places would be 6. Do you understand? Okay, very good. Next. Next example is 210,000. Same process. We are going to locate the new decimal point. Where should we place the decimal point? Remember, there must only be one non-zero digit at the left side of your decimal point. Very good. You're going to place it there in between 2 and 1. Good job. Next step is you're going to count the number of decimal places from the original decimal point. In this whole number, the original decimal point will be at the last part, at the end or at the right side of your last zero digit. So right here, you're going to count the number of decimal places. Let's do it together. That would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That means there are 5 decimal places. The direction is to the right of your new decimal point. That means your exponent will be positive. Positive 5. Do you understand? How are we going to write the scientific notation then? It will now be 2.10000 times 10 to the power of 5. 2.10000 because that would be this one. Times the base to the exponent of 5 because there are 5 decimal places. If the zeros are significant, then you're going to write it here. If the zeros are not significant, you will stop at 1, making your scientific notation as 2.1 times 10 to the power 5. Okay? Very good. Now, to check your understanding, I'll give you some exercises. Are you ready? Let's start. Try these two items. Pause this video for you to have more time to answer those items and play the video to confirm your answers. Ready? I'll reveal the answer. For number one, it's 3.46 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Negative as the exponent because it's a small number. How about for number two? It's 2.29 times 10 to the positive 4. Is that correct? No, that is incorrect because here it's correct that it's 2.29 and it's correct that your base is 10, but your exponent is not anymore 4. 
your exponent must be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it must be negative 8. Instead of 4, you are going to write down negative 8 as your exponent. By the way, this is also an exponent. So that must be written there in negative 4. Okay? Good. Let's try another two items. How about for this? Pause this video and play it once you're done. Let's reveal the answers. That is 1.34 times 10 to the power 8. Correct. And number 4 is 2.001 times 10 to the power of positive 5. Do you agree? Well done. Congratulations. You've completed this brief tutorial.